And the need for economic assistance is ever growing across Northeast Ohio. Between the hurdles of the pandemic and inflation, so many are struggling each day. A local nonprofit is working now to meet the need and just announced it's extending a critical water assistance program. Mike Holden joins us live with how it's changing lives each day. Mike. Denisha, good morning to you. I mean, we're talking about a life changer, game changer, call it whatever you want, but Step Forward's water assistance program has now been extended into September of 2023. They say there is a tremendous need and they are here to lend a hand, especially to those families who aren't sure where to turn to next. Now, Step Forward is, of course, making strides to change lives and offering an extra hand to those in need. The state-run agency's low-income household water assistance program helps eligible Cuyahoga County residents with their water and waste bills. So far, it has given more than $79,000 in assistance funds since last February, and they say they're ready to provide more funding to area residents. Listen up to this, though. To qualify for this water assistance program, residents must be at or below 175% of the federal poverty lines, have a disconnection notice, been disconnected, in the process of establishing a new service, or are paying to transfer service. We've seen so many new clients over the past six months to a year that have never sought assistance before, but because of the way things are going, they're now asking for help. So. We're trying to remove that stigma that if you need assistance through one of these programs, that it puts you in a bad light. And you know, they say it is okay to ask for help. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. And they say that's why they have these programs in place. If you want to sign up again, this water assistance program through Step Forward has been extended into September of 2023. We just posted an article. Click on over to news5cleveland.com and the News 5 Cleveland app. Reporting live this morning, Mike Holden, News 5.